So when you're getting up into the shingle line, we want to install that flashing in this area here and that nail is in the way. So working on these shingles, if you're doing a standard metal flashing, you want to break that natural seal. And here we have this sample of a shingle. This is the seal, the seal strip here that is pre installed on the shingle from the manufacturer. And that's what you're breaking up when you're getting underneath this shingle. So a lot of times you can tear up the shingle if it's too hot. You wanna be careful you're not fighting the wrong tooth. You can see on there, I'm actually fighting the wrong layer and you can kind of trick yourself. So make sure you're like on a high tooth in this case and you go in there, break that seal strip. And then when you hit that nail, hit it and you can pop that out. I like to come from the top here and then gently pull out that nail. And now you can see the nails out. Once the nail's removed and you have a clear path for the flashing, you can then put your sealant on the backside here, fill your pilot hole, slide the flashing into place. A lot of times we put little timing markers in there for chalk lines to line it up with the pilot hole. And then you're gonna put in your L foot with the lag and now your flashing's in the right place. So some people have put the flashing in the wrong place. The very common mistake is when an installer goes up, slides this up, hits the nail, and then installs it. And now your penetration is a little too low from the drip edge. You got this overhanging. Where that becomes a problem is when you have something like this, where there's a seam there, Here's a classic example right here. There's probably two nails in there holding these shingles in. So you slide this in, you hit it, and you can't go up anymore. And some installers just drill their pilot hole, put it in, put, seal in their mount, and now you're overhanging the drip edge. What happens there is if you have a seam, you can see if you look closely, the flashing is ending before the nail line, so you're not actually fully waterproof, and water can potentially get under there and start to work its way down to the penetration. So you wanna be careful of that. Make sure you either remove those nails, or sometimes you can even slip over them if you, if you can. If you can. Um, but you wanna make sure that you're putting the flashing in the right position. So these reveals here are about five inches. So a 12 inch flashing is gonna get you five, 10, and then about two inches maybe up into the next course there. So that's gonna automatically make you waterproof if you're on that seam and you're getting past the seam and it's all watertight and everything's good and happy.